Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a VPN service on your Xbox. Now using a VPN on Xbox consoles isn't as straightforward as on other devices because you can't directly download their software. But don't worry, there are a couple of ways to get a VPN on your console through external means. So without further ado, let's get started. Also, if at any point you'd like to give any of the VPNs I'm going to mention today a try, you'll find discount links available in the description down below to help you save some extra money. Now, the first method involves installing a VPN on your home router and connecting your Xbox to it. This basically limits the effect of the VPN app on your gaming console and allows you to use a VPN on other devices connected to your home network. Now, let me show you how to set it up using ExpressVPN as an example. First, sign up for a VPN service that supports router installation and choose a suitable plan. Download their apps and complete the installation process. Next, access your router's admin interface by typing its IP address into your web browser. You can find specific instructions in your router's manual or on the manufacturer's website. Once you're in the admin interface, download ExpressVPN's firmware for your specific router model from their website and save it on your computer. Within the admin interface, find the firmware upgrade option and upload the ExpressVPN firmware file you downloaded earlier. This process may take a few minutes, so be patient and avoid interrupting it. After successfully finishing the firmware, log back into your router's admin interface and go to ExpressVPN settings. Enter your ExpressVPN username and password to connect your router to the VPN service. In the settings, you can customize the VPN server location and configure additional preferences. Once your router is connected to ExpressVPN, any device that connects to your Wi-Fi network will automatically be protected by the VPN. Now, the second method to use a VPN on your Xbox is by creating a VPN hotspot using your Windows device. This method is easy to set up and allows you to adjust the VPN settings later if needed. First, make sure you have a computer with a VPN installed and connected. Open the network and internet settings on your computer and enable the mobile hotspot feature. Create a name and password for your VPN hotspot. Now go to advanced network settings and find the mobile hotspot and Microsoft Wi-Fi direct virtual adapter. Right click on the express VPN adapter go to properties and select the sharing tab. Allow other network users to connect through your computer's internet connection and choose the mobile hotspot from the drop down menu. Connect to the VPN using ExpressVPN and the OpenVPN UDP protocol. This sets the VPN location for your hotspot. Finally, go to Xbox's network settings and connect to this hotspot, which will share all the VPN benefits from your console. Now, it's important to note that not all VPN services are suitable for this method. Many lack advanced protocols and could even pose security risks. And with so many options available, it can be overwhelming to find the right VPN for your needs. That's why I've compiled a list of my top three VPN recommendations to make your search a bit easier. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs and have narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three, but depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you and I'll explain why. Now, starting with ExpressVPN, and this is gonna be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN, and it has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest level of reliability, 
Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as a threat protection which blocks ads, malware within websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance, and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription, as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account, so it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. You still get some bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're looking to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a large family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these are definitely the best in the business. Express is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity, and it's perfect for those who are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Then NordVPN is a well-rounded, high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as a strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. Now, if you're interested in Surfshark, we have an exclusive discount we can offer for fans of our channel, and I'll show you how it works. So if you directly go to Surfshark's website, the deal you're currently get is 24 months for $249 per month, saving 81%. And with other channels and websites, you'll get two free months and an 82% discount. However, if you use our exclusive coupon code, you'll be getting three free months in total, saving you 83%, which is the best deal available on the internet. So that's it for this video. Again, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts, as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment down below if you have any questions, as I love getting to interact with you guys. And like and subscribe if you found this video helpful or would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.